will be Mays at the 12. And Marquise Mays brought down at about the 23-yard line. Out of the shotgun. The pass is caught to Julio Jones at the 30-yard line. Let's take a look at our impact player. It's brought to you by Liberty Mutual. And Alabama right now, no huddle, which is a little bit different for them. Mark Ingram gets the first down at the 35. Bob, we talked all day yesterday about how nice it was to get back to a little more traditional football for Alabama. That's complete. For the 38, that's Marquise Mays. Made a nice move, and it looks like he got enough for another first down right around the 45-yard line. Out of the shotgun, they hand it off to Ingram. Found a nice burst and a good hole. Ingram with a first down close to the 40-yard line. Stopped just shy at the 41. Met with him yesterday a lot stockier than what you might think. It's complete in Alabama on the move. The tight end, Michael Williams, gets the reception from Greg McElroy. And quickly, in a blink, 15 more yards. McElroy complete underneath. Marquise Mays with another couple nice moves inside the 20 to about the 18. He picks up eight on the play. Shelly, eight of 11 on the season. And he knocks it through. So Nick Saban comes out with a little change of pace to begin the game offensively. Watch for Mississippi State to get up there and snap that ball quickly out of this no huddle. Elf hands it off. They come right up the middle out to the 27-yard line. That's Vic Ballard with a nice game. Not flashy, not explosive, but physical. And Ralph keeps it himself. And that's what you're going to see right there in the passing game. Chad Bumpus. Ralph throws it complete. That's Ballard. And Ballard out to the 48-yard line. Third and five. Ralph keeps it and gets the first down. And so there's not going to be a lot of talking on that field for Mississippi State. Trying to talk with his arm right here. Ralph into traffic and picked off. Robert Lester with the interception. That was a little over 40 a punt. And Bumpus calls for the fair catch. Mississippi State is going to have great starting field position on their second drive of the game after the 32-yard punt. Can the Bulldogs put points on it as a result? Ralph on the pitch. And Ballard takes it forward and stopped up at about the 35-yard line. One thing Nick Saban always does, those safeties are going to be involved heavily in the run game, which they have to be against this kind of offense. They hand it off to Perkins with his first touch. And Perkins picks up a first down for the Bulldogs, deep in Alabama territory. Now they're going to try a field goal. It's Derek DiPasquale, this one from 24 yards out. He's six of seven on the season. Make that seven of eight. And we are knotted at three apiece. But you know what? They lost nine starters on defense. Their kicker, their punter, their kick return man. That'll do it. McElroy will do it too. The pass complete to Marquise Mays. McElroy threw a rope and it's complete. At the 46-yard line to Marquise Mays again, going back in the same direction. Just get up there and let it rip. Here's Ingram. Boy, the Bulldogs string it out nicely and bring him down right around midfield. This is really a good football team, Alabama. I mean, they lost to two really good teams. A good quarterback, too, and a great receiver in Julio Jones. Now Cade Foster comes in to attempt this field goal from 45 yards away. And that is true with a lot of room to spare. Alabama takes a three-point lead, 6-3. to three, A couple of 7-2 and two teams going head-to-head -head when we come back. Second and seven. And Ballard gets the call. 
Don't be surprised if they don't run this football on third down and fourth. Ralph, little bootleg, breaks one tackle and completes it at the 23-yard line to Arcedo Clark. Okay, Wendy back here. Ralph completes it. Out to the 40-yard line, Chris Smith with the gain of about seven on the play. And speaking of bye weeks, how much does it help or how much doesn't it help? We'll talk about that as Ralph keeps it himself. There's a flag down on the play. First thing, he's really smart. Illegal formation on the offense. He's a guy that thinks outside the box. He's very creative. And I think he's matched up with Manny Diaz right now. Marquise Mays is back standing on his own 20. Hutchins to punt. Gets off a high towering spiral all the way back to the 15 where it bounces and the Bulldogs are going to do a nice job with respect to field position after this. Nick Saban saying that he wants to see how his team responds against Mississippi State. Not that well on that play. Tell you, As Ingram and his hit admittedly, sorry Bob, I'm by sorry. Fletcher Cox. With all the expectations, the two losses, playing tight right now. Interesting. Here's the punt. Fielded by Bumpus. And brought down at the 47-yard line, but still good field position. You feel the pressure around the office yesterday with those expectations. Ralph with a nice move, but there's a flag down on the play in the vicinity of holding. Are we as good as last holding year's team? On the offense, number 67. The penalty yeah. is 10 yards from the previous spot. Repeat, he, first down. He's been through this a bunch of times. Ralph completes it to Heavens. Great move by Heavens and a good burst down to the 42-yard line. A big part of it's finding windows in which to throw the football. You know, it doesn't always work out like it's drawn up. you got to find some holes in that coverage right there. Heath Hutchins shanks one off the side of his foot. This is going to go out of bounds right around the 25-yard line. From the 25, Alabama, first and 10. Afterroy completes it. Darius Hanks with a first down for Alabama picks up about 11 on the play. But Ingram still trying to get untracked offensively, as is the rest of this Crimson Tide offense. So McElroy says, let me do it myself. First down run up to the 50-yard line. But right there, you see, he's not going to take a lot of chances with that ball. This time looking over the middle and completes it to the 45 Smart guy. Smart guy. After Roy completes another one. This time to Marquise Mays. Still in bounds. Uh, simply amazing. Sometimes it's a lot easier to figure it out if you just worry about the back end. Tough to run the ball against all those different blitzes by Mississippi State. Here's Perkins. Does a nice job of staying on his feet. And brought down to the 25, but there's also a flag down on the field. During the return, holding number 51, the kick receiving team. The penalty is 10 yards. He was part of the foul. First down. He doesn't wrap his arms and gives up the touchdown. It cost them. Big Ballard, meanwhile, on the run for Mississippi State. Gets about five, running between the tackles. All right, Wendy back here. Third and two. Ralph well, keeps it himself. And gets enough for the first down. Three on the play clock. Ralph with a nice game. Got about four on the play. I tell you, what has football come to? Ralph. Completes it to Heavens and a first down for Mississippi State. Marquise Mays back at his own 20 for Alabama. With the wind at his back. Nice punt down to the 20. Here's Mays. Mays with some big intentions. The punt to the beat. 
Amazing again! Touchdown! But there's a flag down on the play. Carrying a return, number 91, the receiving team blocking the back. The penalty is 10 yards. Out of the foul. It's down. Alex Watkins pushes the ball back to the 22. McElroy completes the pass to Ingram. And Ingram is on the move. Mark Ingram! A little surprised at Mississippi State not tackling as well as I thought they would defensively because Mississippi Perkins. State comes in ninth in the country in scoring defense. And up by Ralph to Perkins again. A five-yard gain on the play, and Alabama, remember, started off with that hurry-up offense. Just wants to settle this football team down. No more damage inflicted. Perkins on that last carry, and here's Perkins again, brought down after a gain of about three on the play. You now, you would think Mississippi State, with two timeouts, would be throwing that football all over the field. Third and one. They hand it off, and some tough sledding. It's going to be close. Ballard battled. But all of a sudden, that plan's going to have to change, Mark. Down 20 to 3. Ralph, part of the plan, thought about throwing but didn't have enough time. Sacked back at the 39. And that's going to be the end of the first half of play. Mississippi State on a six game winning streak. That streak in trouble right now. Alabama leading 20 to 3. They are really, really young. Third and seven. Well, fires complete out to the 33 yard line. Bob, we talked about this Mississippi State offense being a low risk offense. The lack of turnovers, the lack of mistakes, but they're going to have to throw the ball better to win this game. Ballard on the move, and Ballard out to the 38 yard line. Only his second year at the helm at Mississippi State. The handoff to Ballard again. Last year, this Mississippi State team won five games. Sacked back at the 32. Damon Square. Well, there are Alabama Crimson Tide football fans domestically and all over the world, if you travel enough, you'll, you'll find some Crimson Tide gear in a lot of different places. There's Mays on the punt return. Boy, he keeps you on your toes if you're covering punts. Isn't that great, though? That's Sitting great. in Afghanistan, watching Julio Jones. Julio Jones still has to the house. Touchdown! Those guys that touch the ball are really, really fast. Ingram, Mays, Jones, and Trent Richardson not playing. And you talk about Julio Jones and Ingram, they're big and physical. Well, he's got to bring it out of the end zone. He could have taken a knee. Michael Carr, highly recruited guy, but this is a whole different deal right here. Now the defense is really putting its ears back, but. Mississippi State running out to the 17-yard line. The Auburn quarterback. Death of Nick Bell because of cancer. We chronicled that a little bit earlier. Here's Ballard on the run. Here's Ballard down in the Wildcat. to take a direct snap. It's a little counter step. Nice move. It'll be short of the first down by about three yards. It'll be second and three coming up. Sixth punt of the night. Hutchins with a low line drive. Mays calls for the fair catch, which is probably very good news for Mississippi State. He has been lethal on punt returns. Mark, I had him up here in the box in the booth. He revolutionized, in my mind, mm. how defensive players take on blockers. And there's a defensive interception by Chris White and Mississippi State gets the ball right back. The front runner for the Heisman this year. 
He plays in this conference with Auburn. Cam Newton doing an outstanding job. Once again today, leading his team to victory. And the punt goes into the arm, uh, end zone. But don't ever question me about what kind of role model I am or the values I've taught to my son. And here's where I'm headed with that, Mark. Here's Ingram out of bounds. My only point, if it's my son and I'm having those kind of accusations made against him and made against me, I'm coming out saying, hey, you're flat lying if they're not true. Punt down to the 22-yard line. Now they have a backup quarterback, Tyler Russell. Very highly recruited young quarterback. Ralph with the completion. Out to the 30-yard line to Chad Bumpus. What about him? Low snap. And Ralph hands it off to Ballard, who has the first down and then some. All the way out near midfield at the 49-yard line. Ralph sacked back at the 46. Had a lot of time to throw. Much more explosive. Much, much more explosive. But schematically, it gives Alabama an advantage to play this game. This point, he did his back down to the eight yard line. Marquise Mays. No magic on this punt return. They don't want to hear about the non automatic qualifying conferences or their teams. I keep hearing them say, can they do it week to week in the SEC? Here's Ingram straight ahead as we check in with Wendy. Second down and three. Toss into the boundary. Ingram with a nice move. Running hard. Mark Ingram with some determined and spirited running. Eddie Lacy in the ball game in his place. And it's Lacy with a very nice spin move, but brought down at the 30-yard line. A gain of five. Langston making the stop from the corner. Second and five. Lacey. And a first down for Alabama. Renaming a freeway, the Mark Lee Ingram Freeway in Michigan. That's some juice. Over midfield, Lacey in the ballgame. A gain of about six. Shonda Ingram uh, might have made the right decision for her son, or at least had the right input for him. Ingram. There's McCarron again. Completes it this time to Hanks. First and goal, Alabama. Darren sacked back to the 10 yard line. They heated him up and got the sack. A.J. McCarron, the new quarterback for Alabama, under heat again. They're trying to light him up. He escapes. And it's incomplete. Jim McElwain, the offensive coordinator for Alabama, said, what was it? They've got every imaginable blitz <laughs> they known do. to mankind, was they the do. quote. And Mark Ingram told us that. <laughs> Shelley, from 28 yards out, knocks it through the uprights. And he's two for two on the night. Alabama's lead increasing to 27 points. If you think Nick Saban has taken his foot off the gas with his team up 27 points, think again. This is McCarron, the backup quarterback who is getting an earful. Nick Saban up in his grill. Well, what he's focused on all week, getting each guy to play up to the standard this is where these defensive linemen, man, they had to practice against all those runs all week. Now they get to rush the pass. Pass the, is complete at the 32. Only about a foot to go. Hand it off to Elliott, and Elliott gets the first down for the Bulldogs. On second and nine, pass complete to the fullback. Patrick Hanrahan. They just not are they're just not equipped to throw the football very well. Pass complete. Russell with a strike to Chad Bumpus. Flag down on the play. 
On the offense, number 55, 10-yard penalty for the previous spot. Play, third down. Wide receivers, their young offensive line probably spends about 80% of their time run blocking. And there's a pass downfield. This one's caught. Russell with a pass complete to Arcedo Clark. Back to pass again. Into the end zone. Oh, touchdown! Chad Bumpfus with the catch. And Tyler Russell comes in and ignites the offense. Florida and South Carolina battling out to see who's going to be the East Division representative. The pass complete to Jones as we go back to Wendy in the studio. Bumpus back deep. 17-yard line. That's out of bounds just inside the 25. Duke actually getting underway tomorrow at 5 o'clock on ESPNU. Taking on Princeton. That's going to be an interception. Picked off by Robert Lester. And Alabama right back in business. <laughs> nice run by Fowler. Now let's check in with Wendy back in the studio. Demetrius good in the backfield. Toss into the boundary. It's good. And good stopped up short of the 10 yard line. With another different tailback in the game. This is Fowler. And Fowler plows ahead. Alabama. The next best thing to doing it yourself is spoiling it for someone else. It's their season. And you can spoil it for Auburn. Oh, still alive. And it's fumbled loose. It looks like Mississippi State recovered. It's Mississippi State football after that fumble. First down and 10 from their own 20-yard line. And the Bulldogs are about to see their six-game winning streak go up in smoke. This is Robert Elliott on the run, getting about two yards on the play. Mississippi State, though, uh, positioned themselves for a pretty good bowl game, though. What was it three years ago they went to a, a bowl game with Sylvester Crew for the first time in a while? That's right. That's right. That might have been a few more than three years ago. But, yeah, they played in the yep. Liberty Bowl. Yep. That's right. That'll just about do it. This one is cooked, glazed, and sliced. Alabama's home winning streak now at 19 and counting. This was a game of explosive plays by Alabama that finally broke it open. Our final score once again, 30 to 10 for the Crimson Tide. Stay here for College Football Scoreboard. This has been a presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. For Bob Davey and our entire gang, I'm Mark Jones. Thanks for watching, everybody.